what's going on everybody this is macboy from macboy productions and today i'm going to show you something really really cool called dropbox and i'm sure a lot of you have heard of it before and a lot of you haven't and this is of course for the people who haven't or for the people who forgot about it now to give you a quick overview it sucks when you lose your car keys or you lose something very very important to you something small and you know you want it or you leave it at home or things like that dropbox is an online file sharing service that allows you to save your files on your home computer to their servers which you can then access from your cell phone or any other computer including PCs or Macs from around the world. If you're at your office but you have a project that is on your home computer you can simply Dropbox that from your home computer and obtain it at your office. But Dropbox doesn't work exactly like that. I mean, you can't take a hand and literally grab some files from your home computer's hard drive and put it back on your office's computer hard drive. You have to select certain folders or files that you upload or that Dropbox will copy from your hard drive to their servers, which then you can download from their servers to your new hard drive or location. That's how it works. And yeah, we've seen tons and tons of these services online, but this was the more earlier ones and that is, I believe, more user friendly. Dropbox is an application that runs in your background right here in your menu bar. You can click on that and you have a certain options from that. Of course, there's free accounts and then there's paid accounts that allow you to increase your storage space. The free account gives you two gigabytes worth of storage space on their servers. You'll see whatever I have placed in my Dropbox folder with a check mark or an X or a syncing sign. This means that I can now take whatever is in my photos folder or my public folder from any computer, from any cell phone, from any device that's connected to the internet from around the world. Which is great, but it sucks up your upload speed if you're going to copy every single file in your hard drive or a lot of files from your hard drive. But to be honest, it has saved me in a lot of situations where I have left my documents at home and I need them at school or in other situations. It's simple, it's free, and you can download it from the link down below. I suggest you give it a try. If you don't like it, go ahead and delete it. But Dropbox can be a great help to many people out there. Once again, this is MacBoy, and I thank you for watching this video. And don't forget to like, comment on these videos and channel. I'll see every single one of you next time right here on MacBoy Productions.